Hey, Piper. Been kind of missing in action the last few days. Uh, <laughs> had a lot going on. Um, did not make it to Nashville. I had a, uh, I knew I had a big catering job uh, today, and of course I was going to come on back Sunday. But uh, about a week before uh, I was supposed to, you know, leave, uh, say Friday week ago, had an opportunity to bid a big, big, big catering job for Friday and Saturday, and we got it. And I had to, I just had to do it. <laughs> In this day and age with the economy like it is, you can't afford to turn one that size down. So, um, uh, Holiday Inn was, uh, Express was, <laughs> I did not find out until Wednesday that I, no, Tuesday evening that I had it. And Wednesday they were still kind enough to not hold me to any penalty on the reservation. So that worked out good. <coughs> but, um, <laughs> had an interesting weekend. Had a good weekend. We had a, my mom had the grandkids. They had a little pallet party out there. So we had a kind of a date night uh, Saturday. Went out and ate some good Italian food at a local place here in town. One of those old places. Been here, I think the sign said, since 64. Ate there a ton of times. Called Gino's. And uh, you go in there, it hadn't changed any since 64. It's uh, A lot of people would say it needs a makeover and an update. But I'm, I'm one of those nostalgic guys that says, no, don't. Leave it just like it is. That's uh, the ambiance. That's one of the reasons we go there. The lasagna and the spaghetti is out of this world. And make good homemade pizza, too, really, the real deal. But anyway, um, I am smoking some Brigadier Black Alamo in my Hardcastle Bulldog. And... Um, huh. I've been without a mailbox since uh, Saturday morning. Woke up to the, well, I was already up, but wasn't fully <coughs> motivating. motivating. Uh, my wife and little girl had run up uh, uptown, and <coughs> they, uh, woke the, uh, I keep saying woke up. I had been up about 10 minutes and uh, just, Heard this bang and bang and banging on the door and the doorbell ringing and ringing. So I'm still uh, getting dressed. So I'm scared me and I run up. It's uh, still in my drawers and I looked out the window and there was deputy sheriff's cars down by the end of the up, pulled up in the driveway and, and two down by the road. So I told her I yelled through the window to the door to, for him to hang on. So I ran and throwed some shorts on, come back up. And there was a guy that had ran over my mailbox and the neighbor's mailbox. He came over the hill here <coughs> um, and hit him. Got way up in the yard, too. Just demolished him. And uh, luckily there was a lady behind him. She followed him all Three quarters of a mile up out of the subdivision to a little corner neighborhood store here, <coughs> and uh, she called the police. Well, they they keep deputies out here, you know. Uh, there's one that's stationed out in this. Uh, we have we don't really have precincts, but they have deputies assigned to just about every neighborhood. That's a pretty good thing about the parish sheriff's office here. But anyhow, they were there in no time, and. Uh, they arrested him, and that's what the deputy said. They had, they took him to jail. They said, uh, he said, I don't know if he was drinking or not. You couldn't smell it on him. And he said, we think we was, he was on some kind of drugs. Well, they gave me the guy's name and who the car belonged to. It belonged to a radio station here in town. So <coughs> I went on up, uh, got dressed, and went on up to the store for a sausage biscuit and a coffee. And the guy there that I've known for years that works at the store where I went to school with him. He said, oh, that guy was having a diabetic um, seizure, and he wasn't drunk, he don't drink, and this and that. So I scared me. I said, well, they, and he said, they really rough handled him and manhandled him and treated him bad. And I said, well, let me try to get a hold of somebody. So I called the sheriff here, uh, and luckily, I called the sheriff's office for him because I don't know his home numbers on Saturday, and they called back. I mean, they 
called him and he called me. I, I've known him a lot, you know, a good while. We fished together some. And he um, called me and he said, look, I'm going to check into it. Well, he called me back about 10 minutes later and he said, well, he blew a point one eight, which was which is twice in Louisiana. So just, uh, you know, that time of morning, still drunk and uh, with the little car, the car he was in was a Lincoln, some kind of SUV. Not one of those big ones, but the smaller SUV, and I don't even know what they call it. And those two plastic mailboxes demolished the front end of that Lincoln. I mean, to tell you, it uh, <laughs> that little that car must not be made out of much because both of them were plastic mailboxes. So anyway, that being said, I haven't had a mailbox since we got one today, late this evening, and uh, I've got a doctor's appointment in the morning. I have to go once a month for this pain management he's got me coming monthly my local family doctor and which is fine but when i come back through i'm gonna i'm gonna set the wooden piece in and set it with concrete and when i pick him up tomorrow afternoon come home from work i'll uh, the concrete will probably be set up enough to just slide the new one over new plastic pole but but anyway luckily the mail lady brought two boxes today, a package and a big box, and uh, one of them, and I've, I've already opened it, you know, because um, I didn't think I would even have time to do a video today. I've had so much going on, but I went ahead and opened it, and the first one is from Alfred, a.k.a. Henry Sims, and he and I had done them, are doing a tobacco swap out, and Alfred, I got yours coming. It should be here Wednesday. I should have had it ship directly to you. I don't know what I was thinking. As soon as it gets here Wednesday, I'll turn around and send it to Georgia. But I only ordered four ounces, and that's what I, that's what we had, had talked about. But I believe you put more than four ounces in this. He sent me some Brigadier Black Alamo, and this is one of my favorites. A great, great vanilla we tasting uh, aromatic. And look, this Brigadier, they have several uh, Gettysburg, two or three others, and this Alamo is a special deal. I don't know how long. It's kind of a limited time deal, but it is really great. And this is their second go around to make it per by request from PipesAndCigars.com. It's that good, but uh, thanks. I, I think you overdid it, and you put me a little black and mild cigar in there too. But uh, I think you put a little extra in there, Alfred. So um, I'll try to I'll try to reciprocate some here. <laughs> if you hadn't subscribed to Alfred, he's a good fellow. One of the first ones that welcomed me to this pipe community. Uh, goes by the screen name of Henry Sims, all one word: H E N R E Y C E M S. It's a cemetery research group, and he is a heck of a good guy. Oh, Georgia boy. Um, the other one, and I didn't, I knew it wasn't quite time to get something else in from Sutley, but that's who it came from, and this is one that I have been eagerly anticipating. John said there would be some of this coming, and look, let me tell you today, my wife brought these in here, and when I, she said, this one's heavy, and I said, I could hear the tins rattling. Man, I was tickled to death some Mac Baron stuff. But let me tell you, this makes it all worthwhile. Got Mac Baron vanilla cream, loose cut. All of these I have wanted to try. Uh, plum cake. I'm gonna sell her that one. Virginia number one, ready rubbed. From Mac Baron. HH Vintage Syrian. I've tried one or two of these already and so far so good. I say all these are ones I had wanted to try. This was certainly one that was next on the list. Mac Baron Dark Twist Roll Cake. This one I just got through smoking a little bit. Uh, Dunhill Mixture Scottish Blend, some good stuff. Navy Flake. Uh, 
another one of my favorites, HH Old Dark Fired. That's going in the cellar. <laughs> Two cap studs. Let's see, uh, a cap stand, excuse me. Original Navy Cut cap stand. I didn't realize that was part of this deal, but anyway. And then the regular um, cap stand. Gold Navy Cut Flake Tobacco in the gold can. And last but not least, some three nuns. So, man, this was a haul. This is well over $100 worth of stuff here. I mean, I just... Very thankful to have it. And so, you other guys and girls that's doing reviews, if you hadn't got this, be on the lookout. you got something good coming. But like I say, not much else happening other than just been extremely busy. Hopefully tomorrow will be back on track, uh, making videos. I did say I was smoking this uh, Alamo, yeah. Smoking the Alamo that, uh, of course, I keep that on hand, but I was getting low, so Alfred, that was right on time with that, bud. And you're going to like that cherry blend. I ordered cherry bean. I ordered... Um, Another one, um, one of their Lake Series ones to try, too. But I hate that I didn't make it to Nashville. But we'll do it next time. Next year, we'll, we'll, we'll try it again. But like I say, I just couldn't turn down that kind of job because it's uh, huh, economy so sluggish right now. You better get it while you can. Well, look, I'm fixing to wrap it up, get in the bed, because as soon as I take Emily to school in the morning, i got to head to the doctor. So y'all take care, have a good one, and God bless.